I'm Jackie O. I'm Stan the Man. We're the real guys with the Big Screen Breakdown. Brought to you by Papa John's. The Last Gunslinger tries to help hold the universe together as good and evil collide around the Dark Tower. Now Stephen King adaptations are a slippery slope. On the one hand, you have like the number one IMDb rated movie, The Shawshank Redemption. And on the other hand, you have Sleepwalkers. I mean, some are really good, most are okay, and some just really suck. Now, it's very difficult for me to consider this an adaptation because it's such a departure from the book series. I mean, aside from the names and the existence of the Dark Tower, I really didn't recognize anything from the books. Now, I'm not here to pit it against the books, but it's just so weird that, you know, you just have this movie that uses the source material but doesn't use it in any real way. Best parts of the movie are Matthew McConaughey and Idris Elba, but the bad part is they really don't interact until the climax of the movie. And that part is really cool, but if you've seen the full trailer, you've seen about 75% of that interaction. Um, it's a very sluggish movie, has a great climax, but like I say, most of it you've already seen. I would really wait for this. Don't go to, don't go to see it in theaters because there's no real point. Uh, this has got to be jacked on my scale. Wait for the rental. Wait for it to come out on DVD. Uh, this has been your Big Screen Breakdown, brought to you by Papa John's. You know, we've done our time as gunslingers. We have indeed. Until next time, we're the real guys wishing you peace, love, and popcorn. Also, I've noticed if we get too excited here mm -hmm. and then we cut to the review. Yeah. Breakdown brought to you by Papa John's. How was that for energy? <laughs> that was good. <laughs>